is a cash flow statement. There it is. Now we want to hook it to the uh, to our income statement. So cash flow information, net income. So we're going to go grab net income. Literally, I'm going to go here, go over to my net income statement. I'm find net income. Oh look, EBITDA. We'll grab it. We'll grab EBITDA for now. Actually, we're not going to grab EBITDA for now. We're going to stop this. We're going to go over back to income statement. I'll just I'll just put net income here. And you know what we'll do? We'll say that's the same as EBITDA. In fact, yeah, we'll say it's the same as EBITDA. Equals EBITDA. Okay. We'll go right here. And then we have a line called net income, so we're not confused. I don't want to be grabbing that EBITDA for the for the cash flow statement. Okay. Let's call this cash flow. Alright, so this guy equals, we're gonna go back to our income statement and grab net net income. Okay, there's our net income. Okay. Drag it across. There we go. We don't have any amortization right now, okay? So I just sum this. I sum these guys, right? I sum these these guys. And I just go right across. Yeah, I mean we're deep in this shit right now, right, aren't we? Alright? Alright. So let's see what I bought. Let's just say we bought a delivery vehicle. Let's say we spent uh let's say we spent fifteen thousand dollars on it. Okay. Uh, we got the same we gotta do the same thing with our with our numbers. I like to have all my numbers format. Number, number, get rid of my there we go. Okay, and that's it. Remember, constant. There's a constant, okay? And uh warehouse equipment or uh greenhouse equipment, twenty five thousand, and Buddy's weed company. Buddy sold you his weed company for ten grand. Who knows what it was? Maybe it was a customer list. Could have been anything, right? Maybe it's just his customer list. He you bought his customer list off him. There we go. There's that. So initial equity. Let's say some uh, let's say some friends gave you forty five grand. Okay, so you sold some equity for forty five grand. Doesn't matter what they got for it because the spread the 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 cash flow statement doesn't care. Okay, you had to borrow money to buy Buddy's weed company. You borrowed the whole amount, maybe from Buddy himself. Maybe Buddy financed you, right? So ten thousand came in, right? He financed you. So seller financing, man, it's the best shit in the world. As good as weed, almost. All right, so um. The repayment of the loan, we're going to figure that out on a different spreadsheet because this loan, let's say it's a five-year term. Okay, let's say it's five-year fixed, uh, uh, and we'll figure that out in a moment. Okay, so here's your cash from financing. We're going to sum this, sum this whole thing, including that empty one, because we know that later we're going to we're going to stick something in there. Because watch, I mean, literally, I could I could put in five thousand dollars right here, and that thing changes. That's that's great. It's already it already works. Dynamic spreadsheet. So here's my basic. Uh, here's my basic cash flow. I'm gonna put zeros in here. I'm gonna say you didn't. You didn't buy anything else. Okay. And I'll. I just want to make these blue because I know they're blue. Okay. There's my basic cash flow statement, and I can do the final thing you do on a cash flow statement is you do change in cash. Okay. And this is supposed to reflect what happened in your bank account. This guy. Plus this guy. Oh, we didn't sum the cash from investing. We'll get that in a moment. Right? So this is sum. And these, I like to just make these negative if they're going out and positive if they're going in. Accountants don't do it that way. Accountants credit cash and all this weird stuff. I don't do that. Okay? So I, I brought in 136. I spent 50 on investing, and then I brought in 55 in loans and equity. And there it is. Okay? And the next year, my cash simply reflects my income because I got nothing going on elsewhere. So this is my actual change in my bank account. All right, that's what's supposed to reflect change in your bank account, change in cash. Okay. All right. Pretty nice. All right. So you're probably wondering where's the balance sheet. I know that's what you're wondering. You're not wondering, you know, where's the free weed or something or whatever. Anyway, let's. Let's start working on that. But first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at this startup amortization line. Remember, back in our uh, back in our in our document here, there was this weird thing. Let's see if I can find it. Startup amortization was here somewhere. Um, okay. So what is that? Uh, you know, I don't really know what it is. Uh, basically, there's some assumption that there's some startup cost costing $25,000 that you pay one year. And because they've used the word amortization, 
it makes me think that it's a capitalized expense. If it's a capitalized expense, then what happens is you, you, you don't take it off your income statement. You take it off your cash flow statement and add it to your balance sheet, and it's like buying a car, right? You can't really expense an entire car. Well, you can, but you're supposed to add it to your balance sheet as an asset. You buy $15,000, you shut down a day later, it should be worth something. It's not worth zero. It's not gone. It's not like buying lunch for your staff. Three hours later, it's gone. You can't sell it for anything. It's been eaten, right? So anything that's not been eaten, that's still on your, that you still own piece of, um, uh, technically you're only supposed to expense the part that went away and everything else has to go on your balance sheet. It means it gets capitalized. So let's pretend for a moment that this is not startup amortization. This is like startup license costs, okay? And I buy that license for 25000 from the state. I can sell it for 25000 like a taxi cab medallion or a, or a building permit, right? It has value, okay? So it doesn't go here on the income statement. It goes in the cash flow statement. So we're going to call this startup license cost. We're going to throw it out there. I have no idea if it's actually the, the way it works, but we're going to – and this is an investment, okay? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick it in here, okay? I'm going to call it uh, – I'm going to call it a startup. Yeah. So I'm going to make this a negative. Okay. All right. And, and it means it goes in the balance sheet because it's, it's a, it's a, it's a something I spent and uh, something I own. All right. Um, and again, we'll, we'll do zeros. Okay. Uh, all right. So we can take that away. All right. And we did. Oh, look, we took it away. All right. So now what we're going to do we have to put in some depreciation in here, all right? Because we have these items. We now have $75,000 in assets that we're going to depreciate or amortize. Uh, it's the same word. Um, uh, it means uh, little death amortization, uh, which is another name for orgasm for those of you that are playing at home. Okay.